of student athletes are facing disappointment. Seasons have been canceled, training camps are canceled. We sat down with a world champion swimmer and an eight time Olympic medalist to find out how she deals with this. I am so excited to have Allison Schmidt joining us. She's from Canton, Michigan. She's Olympic bound and it's so exciting. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Happy to see you again. It's been a few years. <laughs> it has. Let's talk a little bit about Olympic dreams. You know, you were you were ready to go for this summer and then plans change. Yeah, I, I mean, the whole world is kind of put on pause right now and it's tough. Um, you're on a schedule, you're on a regimen and then all of a sudden it's paused or halted and I am grateful that we have been postponed rather than canceled. So that is a positive outlook on it. I know that there, I've definitely felt the negative emotions and the negativity in it, but I'm trying to really see the positivity in it and look at it as an opportunity. You know, a lot of student athletes are disappointed because they're missing their season or their summer sports or their training. How do you pump yourself up and say, you know what, it doesn't really matter about the competition day. It's about what, what it does for you physically, mentally, emotionally. Yeah, it definitely allows you to take a step back and work on the little things, work on things you don't necessarily work on every day, going to practice or, I mean, as an athlete, we kind of just get a schedule and a regimen of doing the same thing and listening um, to the coaches. Uh, I know that it is easier for us to adapt and on competition day, uh, we're able to adapt if something is thrown in the way of our plans. But this isn't really a time when we know what's gonna happen. Um, it's kind of an unknown, we don't know exactly when things are gonna open up fully, when we're gonna compete again, when we can practice again. But at the same time, we're able to really focus on things that can help us better. When I met you for the first time a few years ago, you said something that stuck with me. It's okay to not be okay. Tell me about that. Um, I mean, it's, <laughs> I know that I've had hard times and it's, easy to compare yourself to others and say I'm in a better situation so I shouldn't be hurting um, but at the same time it's I've learned that it's okay to admit that you do feel these emotions um, and you can't compare that to other people um, we do feel what we feel and it's okay to reach out and ask for help and use that support system. Um, I know for myself, I'm a little bit stubborn, um, which has helped me a lot in sport um, and competing to be stubborn. But in the grand scheme of life, it's okay to let down your guard and turn to your support system during that time. So you have some upcoming activities with our friends from Milk Means More. Tell us what you're gonna be doing. Yeah, we're doing a video conference for uh, the athletes on mental health and staying active and what to do when we're stuck in home. <laughs> um, and a lot of that's going to be working on the mental game. And then in the week after, the following week, I'll be doing the same thing um, geared towards coaches. Well, we so appreciate all you do. Leave us with that one word of wisdom that you always think about when you're getting ready to get in that pool and give it 110. What do you always say to yourself to pump up? I think at that mind, I at uh, that point, I shut off my mind and I just have fun. I think that, especially when it comes to competing, I love competing and I have put in the work. So at that point, it's just about having fun and racing. Excellent. So, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We wish you all the best and may you have a lot of fun. Thank you. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., Allison will be hosting Taking Care of You Mental Health Strategies. It'll be on Instagram at Conquer with Milk.